Ravensthorpe, an island of calm in this turbulent land. But my vision of fire still troubles me. It would be good to rest beneath my dear old tree. I've always found peace there in the past. Trees overrun with mistletoe. When did that happen? Now let the sighing of the branches soothe me, and may all thoughts of chaos fade. Hurry! We are nearly there. Peace, Frick. It will do us no good to arrive at our enemy's doorstep exhausted. Suter has our son, fair Balder, fallen to treachery. Does that mean anything to you? It does. Suter will pay a heavy price for it. We do not serve our cause by reckless haste. The tyrant of Muspelheim acts with purpose. And I would know the web he weaves before I'm caught in it. So speaks one who never nursed our babe at the breast, nor held him as he slept. You were warming your wife's bed while I nurtured your son. You were only too keen to send him to my care, and Freyas, when the call of adventure became too great to resist. Now dampen your heart fire. Captive he may be, there's nothing in the Nine Realms that can harm Balder. There is one thing. Pick up your heels. Baldur was too mighty to be captured by force. I sent Loki's hand in this. As do I. Yet still the wretch refuses to confess. That is why he waits in fetters for our return. Chained by my own hand, as I chained his son. As he has chained ours in turn. If he is truly conspiring with Suter, he will know my everlasting wrath. Will he, Harvey? Or will you forgive him once again, so he may wreak more misery upon us? You love your dear blood brother too well, when he has brought you nothing but pain. We have brought each other pain. Harvey, look! Burned. Their corpses left us food for the crows. A dark omen indeed. Come. There is no time to waste on the dead. We should have done more. We should have rallied the whole of Asgard when the Muspels invaded Svartalfheim. And you should never have let our son come here. He sought to prevent this war. Was that not a worthy goal? As for Asgard, the Builder's treasury was still fresh. We needed to rebuild, honor our debt. There was little appetite for further conflict. I recall you said the same when Sutor invaded Alfheim. Now the elves are no more. Now you dredge up ancient history? You should have intervened, Lord of Asgard. 
then and now. Instead, Suta has grown too bold, and our son may be the cost of it. Do not say so, Freak. We will find him yet. What have they done? The city lies in ruins. This is worse than I thought. I've put this land to flame and sword. Baldur. He is nearby, Harvey. I feel it. You feel it? The bond of mother and child. Something you will never understand. Now follow. Where is he? That way. Maybe this? These buildings stand hollow. No one is here. Then we have nothing to fear. There. Inside that house. That building. Hurry. See no sign of Balda. No, but the essence of him lingers. It is stronger here than before. Do not slow, Harvey. We are on his trail. If this instinct is true, let us follow it further. Where are you, my son? They have harmed a hair on your head. Keep faith, Rick. We'll find him safe. We'll see. This city broods beneath a cloak of uneasy silence. Where is the enemy? Concern yourself only with our son. He is close. I feel it now. Ah, he was here. The smell of his skin, his hair. It's as if he left but a moment ago. There may be other signs. Keep watch. I will look upstairs. What is this place? What happened here? Dried blood. Could it be his? Who wrote this? Was it you, dear brother? My son, demon. He waits at my master's pleasure. There. But maybe not so fair as you remember. Bobby! More of them! Gorge your blade! You will burn as guardians! Your blade yawns to
as I knew you must. It's been too long since you and I crossed blades. Then let's make this the final. to die today.
The smell of death lingers in my nostrils. That was no mere dream. I must seek Valka's wisdom. Mistletoe. Nothing more? Until I see you next. hangs heavy around you, Eivor. You are troubled. I had another dream. A vision, like the last. This one full of fire. Tell me. I saw the god, Balder, broken and beaten, held captive by his suitor. I, I tried to save him, but I was defeated and left to die in a pit of corpses. When I awoke, I found this in the fold of my clothing. Baldur also dreamt of his own death. This tale I know. Afterwards, his mother Freak visited everything, living or dead, and had them swear not to harm him. But she overlooked the mistletoe bush. And so fate had its way. Not all visions are premonitions, Eivor. But all hide wisdom, if we have the wit to see it. Drink this, if you would know more. Then go to the sacred circle behind my hut. There is more mistletoe there. Lay the mistletoe around the circle. Light it, and stand within. We shall see what your dream has to teach you. from the fire. You must be coming. Harvey's not well. A passing weakness. There's nothing. We should continue. Are you sure? We could rest a while. 
They kidnapped my son, murdered his mother. I will not rest till I repay these wrongs. Oh, forgive me. You lifted me from that fly-blown hell, set me on my feet again. You do not deserve my rage. And you do not belong among the dead. Not yet. Now come on. Your gift awaits. You still have not told me the nature of this gift, nor why you offer it. Its nature you will know soon enough. As to why? Well, you have seen the suffering the Musibles brought to Svartalfheim. Fire and ruin and slaughter. They make wasteland of our green meadows and enslave those they didn't kill. They keep your people as slaves. Aye. Sortor works them for some dark purpose of his own. What that is, we don't yet know. We can't fight them, Javi. Our people are broken, forced into hiding. But now the tides of fate have washed the Lord of Asgard to our shores. I'm not your savior. I mean only to find my son and return him. Rid us of Sortor, and you might save us nonetheless. That is why we offer you our gift. On the splendor of our halls, Javi. A sight to stir a careworn heart. In all the nine worlds, the crafters of Svatalfheim have no equal. <sighs> a Muspel! Oh, hammer and tongs, they're here! They're looking for the gift. This dolt dares to steal a gift intended for me? Javi, you have to stop them! With pleasure. Keep back. I will deal with this. Well done, Javi. We should search around here. Hopefully with better luck than that Rusa. What are we looking for? I see nothing but stone. There should be a hidden catch. It's somewhere right about... here! Take it, Lord of Asgard. Put it on. From the dwarves of Svartalfheim to you. This is a mighty gift indeed. Told you they'd like it. With this bracer, you can draw out the essence of fallen foes, steal their powers, and make them your own. Try it now on that moose spell you killed. Fire charges my blood. Aye, but you'll need more of it before you can take on their powers. Let's keep moving. Let's keep moving. It's the Asir! Sound the alarm! Powerful incentive to kill the enemies of the dwarves. Aye, it's almost as if we've landed or something. Maybe about our business. Where there's one more spell, there'll be others. 
Let them come. I have death in the fall. Your brace's magic will run dry if you do not replenish it. Look around. See if there's something here that will help you to do so. We must hurry. If the enemy found these hidden halls, they can find the shelter. Shelter? A sanctuary. A secret hideaway only the dwarves know. When the invasion began, our people took refuge in such places. But the threat of discovery means we're always on the move. Holstein and I left our own shelter in search of resources. When we returned, Everyone was gone, leaving nothing but a secret sign to show us how to follow. That shelter is somewhere nearby. We'd better find our companions before the moose fell. Obstacle. Where's the door, Sigrun? These flowers are useful. Those flowers, like the shrine they call out to the bracer. Though that was Move that block nearer. We'll make it across. Thanks, Harvey. I knew you wouldn't let us down. I never will. You saved my life not so long ago. I will forever be in your debt. Harvey Bracer, it allowed you to take on the guise of a Muspel. Then I shall use this new trick to my advantage. I will walk among them. Why don't you approach as if one of them? And then give them a big nasty surprise!
thought I heard the mewing of an Aesir kitten. My husband should have stamped on you when he had the chance. But mercy is no flaw of mine. I will see red vengeance on all of you for what you have done. <laughs> and I will enjoy watching you fail. You should have stayed in Asgard. Fight well. Better than your woman, at least. Come at me, then! Let's finish this! Oh, I'll be back. I will hunt you to the far corners of the Nine Worlds. Treasure every moment, Javi. For death is at your heels. And you know not the hour it will find you! Shinmara! Damn you to hell! Beat Sinmara? I never dreamed I'd see it. Fate has truly sent us a hero. Fate bends to my will. Now, show me to this shelter of yours. The find they left us spoke of a hidden path. Look around in the woods. That will set us on our way. Dwarf mark. He points the way to the shelter. Let's examine the map for any clues. See here, Javi. This is a map of Svartalfheim. You can see the shelter should be nearby. There are other shelters too. We only have a rough idea of their locations. But when you get close, you'll see the signs. Can't wait to see their faces when we arrive. Fimbar, Pro, Old Garot, and his dirty beard. Fimbar still owes me 20 silver from losing at cards. Bet he thought he'd got away with it, too. Remind me never to play you at cards. Ha! The day you part with a coin is the day the sky falls down. Another! We must be getting close. There's a hard path to walk. Well hidden. Has to be, or else the Moose Bulls would find it. But, but day by day, they're learning to read the signs. And once that happens, no dwarf will ever be safe again. Where is the next sign? It should be here! Hidden, perhaps? Let's look around. Getting closer. You 
sure about that? Yes. We should go left after the next sign. No, no. I'm certain it's to the right. You are mistaken, as usual. Follow my lead. Maybe I took a wrong turn. I told you, didn't I? Less haste, more care. Let's retrace our steps. the right path. The sons of Ivaldi have steered us true. I see it now. Have a little faith, Halstain. I know what I'm doing, Halstain. Oh, shut your face. Who are these sons of Ivaldi you mentioned? Ivaldi is a name well known to me, but he never spoke of children. Yes, he was your slave once, wasn't he? Halstain. Oh, sorry. Perhaps slave wasn't the right word. Uh, your freedom deficient associate? The sons of Ivaldi are those who follow Ivaldi's teachings. We're not all male either, though you can be sure whoever came up with the name was. Ivaldi learned much from the Essia during his time in Asgard. Not least the value of being prepared for unexpected attack. After his return, we set up a network of shelters. Bolt holes in case of disaster. It's thanks to us there are any dwarves left free at all. If freedom's what you can call it. Speaking of which, First order of business is to find the chief and warn him about those moose spells. Else there'll be no one left for us to protect. Sigrun and Halstein! Well, slap my bollocks and call me an elf. You found us! And with all those moose spells on our doorstep. You know about the moose spells? Wouldn't be much of a chief if I didn't. Hope you didn't wear yourself out coming out to warn us. Actually, we kind of did. And who's this you've got with you? I am Harvey, called Wolfsbane. Raven Guard, the High One of Asgard. That right. They call me Brood. Our scratcher, snot snorter, he of the crusty toe. Javi is here because we have an enemy in common. Surtra has taken his son captive. He fought Sinmara to a standstill. I saw it. Surtra, eh? Any enemy of that oversized stack of hearth sweepings is a friend of mine. Come inside. You two, get some rest. Wait, Javi. Before you go, I have another gift. We would not have made it here without you. Nor I without you, my friends. I'd say we're even. Take this all the same. It's silica. Bring it to a blacksmith and they will put it to good use on your behalf. Thank you, Sigrun. And you, Halstein. May our paths cross again soon. Silica. You must have done something right. That stuff's rarer than hen's teeth these days. The Muspels. Aye. They seized the mines and now they guard them carefully. Bunch of overly flammable bastards. Still, if you ever need more, you're welcome to slaughter your way to one of their stockpiles. My son is in Sutra's clutches. I have no time for diversions. Might be you change your mind once you see it put to use. Let me show you our blacksmith. Yeah. 
easier to lend a hand? Salutations, Chief. Who's your friend here? They've got too many names to remember. All you need to know is they've got silica. And the bracer of such craftsmanship as makes my hammer arm weep with envy. That's a fine thing indeed. But maybe not so fine that it can't be enhanced somewhat. Any half-decent blacksmith should be able to help you improve it. Assuming you have the right materials, of course. Others here will be glad of a stranger silver. Look around a while, if you like. You know my purpose. I have no time to tarry here. He asks for death who goes to battle unprepared. I'll see you at the entrance when you're ready. Good to see you. Back again so soon, it seems but a moment since I saw you last. It is said by your kind that time passes swiftly to the beat of hammer on anvil. Aye, and those who say it have never lifted a hammer in their lives. How can I serve? How came you to this place? Did you flee here when the invasion began? I know I was here already, studying when the refugees started coming in. What is there to study here? Calico, porphyry, serpentine, banded gneiss, breccia, obsidian, silica, gold! Oh, friend, there is beauty in the earth. Here in this secret place, we gathered all we knew of the thousand facets of Ymir, from whose body sprang all creation. I dreamed of learning fantastical techniques, of crafting armor with materials never before attempted. But that dream has died, I suppose. Along with so many others. Such is fate. worlds is that terrible stench oh that it's me have you considered taking a bath you smell like someone vomited on a week old carcass and then shat on it afterwards no bath will cleanse the stench of shame are you here to trade or to add to my misery tell me of your shame <sighs> I was a warrior once head of the militia charged with keeping law in our village. Then, the Moosebells came. My people looked to me to lead the defense, to give time for the others to escape. But when I saw them... You ran. I hid in the village cesspit. How long I lingered in that unspeakable filth, I'll never know. But when I emerged, it was all over. None survived that day. 
none but me. So I put away my axe forever, and tried to make myself useful down here. But though I strip my skin raw, the smell of that cesspit never leaves me. The mark of my cowardice. My curse. Forgive me. I cannot stay here any longer. Is anyone the voice of all this work? You know, you ain't the first stranger to come around here. A while back, our scouts saw a Jotun creeping about. Name of Hurricane. Hurricane? No doubt she flees the wrath of Sutunga and Gunlutha. Hers was not a name I expected to hear in this place. Her presence here may be an ill omen. Or it might mean nothing at all. You as guardians like to be vague, don't you? Walk with me now. Let's have some straight talk. One thing puzzles me. You cower in these holes like rabbits. Why not fight back? We fought at first. Fought hard. But they hid our leaders. Scattered us. Once they divided us, we were done. Then join together. Raise your axes and throw them off. That simple, eh? Look, we don't even know where the others are. The shelters were planned so that if one of us was caught, we couldn't give them all away. But you could find them, I'd wager. My business is the Sutter and rescuing my son. You might have noticed that Sutter can't be killed. Could be a problem. I'll find a way. Or else I will seize what he values most, and trade it for Baldur's freedom. Either way, you'll need our aid. You don't know an inch of this land. Listen, Harvey. I understand. This isn't your war. You just want your son back. But those moose sparrows on our doorstep, they ain't no joke. If they find us, we're dead meat. Think about moose spells, though. Is they love to fight amongst themselves. All that's stopping them is fear of Suter. Take out their leader. They'll tear themselves apart. Flee back to Muspelheim, most likely. The Svartilfheim will once again belong to the dwarves. Dwarves who will be very, very grateful to the one who delivered them. There's more gifts where that bracer came from. I make you no promise. I will seek out your shelters. Perhaps there I will find the means to save Balder. Good enough for now.
guards here are vigilant.
Dark spirits torment this land. Troll magic. This will dent the curses holding her feet in the mars on her.
must be nearby. What are they looking at? There must be something. Keep it under control! Done with you! Find control spot! means a poem or a riddle. This points the way to a dwarven shelter. The dwarves hide their path in plain sight. the way to a dwarven shelter. There is a shelter not far from here. There's a shelter not far from here. Child's innocence, my boy. I pray he has it still after all of this. These dwarves, I need them. Though it chafes me to admit it. A gracious Harvey, humble and patient. The dwarves hide their path in plain. Huh? This way will take me to the dwarves.
Hello, Harvey. Are you here for some of Reda's contracts by any chance? Imagine I am back in my favorite tavern in Boldar. Back any time. Pretty please? Ah, an outsider. Tell me, stranger, have you seen any heaps of dwarven bodies piled high, moose spells reaving the land, ruined villages? Well, there have been... As I thought, the invasion is nothing but a fiction, dreamed up by our rich masters so they can add to their wealth. Well, two can play at that game. Many rare gems lie unguarded while we hide underground. Bring them to me, and I will see you well rewarded. You do not believe there has been an invasion? Control, young Aesir. It's all about control. If you aren't a shepherd, you're a sheep. But you could simply go outside and see for yourself. I don't need to. It's already plain as day. Well, don't tell me you've fallen for it too. The moosemills I've slain were no lie. And I've seen more dead dwarves than I can count. Oh no! Yeah, you're one of them, aren't you? Oh, spare me your falsehood, serpent tongue. The truth cannot be denied. I'll see what I can find for you. They wouldn't be stuck down here. You are always welcome. Oh, and ask you, me or my. You won't fall, old way, yeah? Songs of my deeds follow me. My enemies do not. Well, if you're sure. Not many know this place, not even the other dwarves. That's how we'd like to keep it. You prize your secrecy here, even more than other dwarves I've met. Well, of course. They'd only just discovered this place when the invasion began. Those of us nearby were herded in quick. Best thing we can do now is to keep our heads down. Don't need strangers going in and out, bringing who knows what to our door. I am no friend to Muswell or Jotun. Glad to hear it. See that it stays that way. Anything else? Speak up! Enough of this. Working so hard that even the calluses have blisters. He breaks! Here comes another one. <laughs> no, don't worry. I'll be careful this time. Yes, no need to remind me. Now it was only a little blood. Who are you talking to? Shh, shh, shh. He can hear us. <clears throat> I'm speaking to no one, good sir. Take a seat. Let me get my needles and blades. You spoke of voices when none are to be heard. Are you moon-touched? Voices? <laughs> the very idea that crystals can talk and that they would be speaking to me. It is you who is mad for even suggesting it. I made no mention of crystals. Ah, that's because they don't talk to you. You're not special. I think you have been down here a very long time. What have you got for me today? I might just try elsewhere. If only King Raithmar was still alive, we wouldn't be stuck down here. <sighs> Who goes there? I am Harvey, Lord of Asgard. You... you're a long way from home. Or are the Asir now invading us as well? Jailer of Ivaldi. <laughs> Ivaldi owes me his freedom. Where is he? I would speak with him. <laughs> Be my guest. I assume you know the way to Helheim. He's... he's dead. How? Oh. How else? Or do you need both eyes to see the moose spells everywhere? <clears throat> that was uncalled for. I... Walk with me. I am Gunborg, leader of this shelter, or what remains of it now Ivaldi is gone. He was trying to make contact with the other shelters. There was an ambush, 
Glod's soldiers, and something else, something worse. A creature of fire and fury, it... it devoured Ivaldi whole. No doubt bred in Searcher's dungeons. Perhaps with Loki's aid, before I could make him my captive. You and your captives. Regardless, Uldar fell soon after Ivaldi did. Our mines and miners, any survivors now serve Glot. Is that name meant to mean anything to me? Glot de Sutor's bastard son, half Muspel, half Jotun. A nightmarish being, capable of tearing a dwarf in two. Your people will have vengeance. No. The people of Uldar are finished. And yet, Glad has not simply slaughtered your people. He needs your miners. To what end? The invaders hunger for secrets buried deep in the ground. Ancient relics. The Muspels place great importance in them. And how do you know this? Enough, Javi. We have suffered enough. Now I must endure all these questions. Aid me with your knowledge, and I shall strike a blow against Glad and all Muspels. In Uldor, we had someone gathering information for us. The miner, Frithjofer. He's been silent for days now. We're just unlike him. Probably dead for all I know. Anything sought by the Muspels must be mine. Where was Frithjofer last seen? Perhaps I can find him. There is a house in Uldar, its owners killed by Muspels long ago. There we would exchange messages with him. This house? How do I find it? It's the tallest house in the Jewelers District, by the city's south gate. Just look for the gold in the streets. You'll see. Frithjofer may be the key to obtaining these relics Suther seeks. I must find him. Do as you must, Lord of Asgard. I have too many burdens of my own to worry about yours as well. Is it lunchtime already? No, probably not. So, Ivanti is dead. A pity. But Uldar may yet reveal something of value that I can trade for Balder, or use against Surtur. Loki and I, we brought Balder here once, to Uldar, when he was just a boy. Now both are captives. Loki deservingly by my hand, and Balder by Sutur's. Keep the dog chasing its tail! 
Uldor's people are weak. Always have been. Too busy squabbling over their minds. I'd wager they put up no real fight against the invaders. Where's my boy? Have you seen him? Is he still inside? <laughs> Remember, this was a lively city once. A place of great happiness.
This is where Gunwark told me to look. I once saw Glove crush an ogre's skull like it was a raw egg. perhaps, then dragged along the ground here. Jewelry for every occasion. This building surely played host to important moments in the lives of many. And look at it now. of holding cells within Uldor. Therefore, wolves who disobey may yet live, like this Tira he mentions. The artisans who once worked here, their life's work, Trippy all these trinkets must seem now, given all that has happened. What do we have here? 
sons of Ivaldi tried to warn Frithjof of increased Muspel activity in Uldor. I wonder, did he get to see this message? This place was used to exchange messages, but Frithjof was careless. The Muspels found out, ambushed him, and took him from here to the holding cells. Then, I need to get into the smelting foundry. Show me. Relics suit her seeks. I will seize them for myself and use them to barter for Baldur's life or to end suitors. The dwarves struggle so with their own drastic evil. Filthy little maggots. You know them. I'm looking for Fridjof. They... they took him below. We are safe. Thank you. Do you have water? No. Now which of you is Fridjof? Fridjof? No, I am... Then hey, I do not care. Stantaskatos! You. Are you Fridjof? I don't know any Fridjof. Be Fridjof, but you know of him. Then, are you Tira? Tira, yeah, Tira. 
God, we must, and I'm in the Hidaba. Tere! Fritjover! Do you even know where he is? Fritjover! Yeah! Fritjover! Tere! Wait, wait. Do you understand me? We do not know any Marwas or Ross anymore. Just stay behind me and keep quiet. Yeah, yeah, get over. Shh, hold your tongue. Oh, shh. Yeah. Tria, well, but to Gwitha. Now, to find Fridjova. Which way? Yeah. Uh, Fridjova. Uh... Hey! Where do you lead me? Tira! Tira. Hmm. A good name. Like Tia of Asgard. Which is so now? Never mind. We should hurry. Where now to Fridjova? I swear, if you lead me astray, there will be trouble. Frankly, I'm surprised you could even see this mighty galleon from up there. A groin sunny bogenachy digger of the asteroid, he whiskochy. A ketter, damani. In any case, I don't suppose we can simply sail all the way to Fridjova. Nah, I'm very enough. 
Dwi eisiau cael gwared y tîd gyntaf ac y gelloedd. Then, the saga of Harvey and Tyra begins. Don't say anything too noteworthy. As a good lass, let us find this relic. Redden i'n arbed brithiofer! Yes, yes, him too. Lead on. See them. Keep out of the way. Yeah, yeah. I'm telling you, I was there. <laughs> Glaude grabbed the poor fool's head and crushed it in front of us all. Not delay further. Take me to free the other. Free the other, yeah. Tere, tere. I've gathered enough of these fragments. I wonder what a decent blacksmith can do with them. What language you speak? You're not from here, are you? Oh, he's clever. Better on vapor. Well, you picked a hell of a time to visit Svartelfheim. Well, you picked a hell of a time to visit Svartelfheim, that's for sure. Where do you lead me, Tyra? Ble roi fyn i charwain? Ydych chi wedi bod yn talu unrhyw sylw? Brithiofer! Rydyn ni'n mynd i achub Brithiofer! That isn't... Very well. The sons of Ivaldi were active here, but no longer, I suppose. Ivaldi? No, they were not of much use to you. Or Frizzjova. Or Ivaldi. Not of much use to you, or Frizzjova, or Ivaldi, for that matter. Let's go. Truly, I regret letting Svartalfheim fall to Sutra. And I've been more vigilant. Perhaps Balder would have never fallen into his clutches. Balder? Where in the Gasser Dan, do I? My son, as kind as he is naive. <laughs> Which way is it? Oh, shit. Path of Marva. Tira. Wind Trio. Sign Weir and Gubod. That's what I get for trusting a dwarf. There must be a clue here. The road heads west and has fresh tracks from a cart. Clearly in regular use. Yeah, yeah, we're crazy here, eh? I do want for me to go back. This main road continues north, away from Ulda. A road like this surely leads to another city. Uh, I'm crazy, my dinner for this apple cart, yo. Oh gosh, I bought an ang hoer. There must be another way to be sure. Look around, Tira. What is this? Lettering, intentionally damaged, and written in a script I cannot read. Tira. Can you make sense of that? Yeah, yeah! Frith the over! Frith the over! Dere! I find you impressive, Tira. Hmm? Eh? Hey? A 
lesser dwarf would only be interested in saving their own skin. Yet here you are on this journey, determined to save Frithjol. Well, that's a limpty hood of the map over here now, Arthur. I only wish I understood you as you seem to understand me. When we get to our destination, be sure to stay out of harm's way, yes? Hmm. Can weld. Why did it have to be wolves? Tira, we must not delay. Yeah, yeah, being good. I will do what must be done. The relic is what I seek. But now, Frithiova is no more than a stepping stone. Best not to draw attention here.
Survey the area, Sunan.
Gunborg sent me. Your people and mine share a common cause. The relics. Well, I know of only one. Cursed thing. It blinded me. Where is it now? Get me out of here and I'll tell you where to find it. <sighs> Can you walk? I'm blind, not tripled. But one wrong step and I'll be taking a lava bath. <sighs> then I shall carry you. Stay quiet, Fridova. And you watch your bloody step. Are there other relics here? No idea. The path is clear, Fridova. I'll just have to take your word for it. Time to move. Move, indeed. Tira? Oh, thank the stars you're safe. I'm all right, I'm all right. You know, all things considered. This one got you out, too. Enough prattle. Where is the relic? Not one for small talk, are you? Isn't that everything a dwarf says? Ha ha ha! Not bad. Just uh, keep your breeches on, yeah? That relic I found? The Moosebells have it. Took it to the palace, I'd wager. What is it? Damned if I know. Moment I yanked it free from the ground, there was a blast of bright white light, and that was the last thing I saw. That's not what I asked. What does it do? Other than blind, unsuspecting dwarves? Dunno. Moosebells didn't seem sure either. Hence taking it to that bastard scholar up in the palace. This palace, a Muspel stronghold, I take it. You're a sharp one. Ivaldi was commissioned there, long ago. Einar's there now. Piece of shit. He's the one who'll have your relic. Einar? Bitte sonam, Einar. He's... He's a traitor. A dwarf working for the Muspels. So don't you believe a word he tells you. You get a chance, you kill him. I shall judge who lives and dies. Where is this palace? If we're still by the dig site, you can probably see it. To the south. Modest little place, sitting atop a great bloody rock. Modest little place indeed. Very well. I shall take this relic for myself. What will you do now? What's it to you, whatever your name is? If I find you have lied to the Lord of Asgard, I will want words with you. You? Your? Oh, oh my days. Uh, well, look, uh, I, I got nothing to hide. Uh, we'll make for the shelter. Go see Gunborg. Very well. If you're true to your word, then we shan't need cross paths again. Now you're free. What's next for you both? Reckon me and Tira will head over to the shelter, check on Gunborg. Just... Once I'm ready. These last days have been challenging. Einar! Built his son, I'm Einar! Don't speak the traitor's name. Not to me. Uh, 
and disorder of the land. Let's sail out! Take it out!
mountain was now equal. If Frithior's word is true, the palace is at its peak. Place is heavily guarded. Soon enough. Guide me. Spread your wings, Sunan. for the last time. Uh, you don't understand! <laughs> now it lies dormant. Useless. The only means to awaken it. I've searched everywhere, but, but if all these records are a mess, rest assured I will... The purpose <sighs> of the... <sighs> the only purpose it has served is drawing out vermin! <sighs> <sighs> Ah! <sighs> 
Tell me, where did the son of Suter take that relic? I don't... I can't! Just... Look! Who are you? I am Harvey of Asgard. I hold your fate in my hands. Answer me before the room is swarmed and I leave you to the Moosebells. No, no! I can help you! You saw through the port clawed open, yes? You saw the vault? I can get you inside. I can! I am listening. Best you are swift. The vault, it's sealed with an ancient magic, but I can get you inside. You can help me get the relic? Yes, yes, but that is not the prize. It is what happens within the vault that can truly shape our fates. They will be upon us soon. Can you walk? I... Uh, I don't think so. <sighs> Very well. Let's go. I was better off with Glod, wasn't I? Stay here. What? Where are you going? Time to move. Great! Great! Don't die. Then do not increase my chances! Die! Happy? What are you playing at? We have come oh. Let's go. I was better off with Glod, wasn't I? You said you could be of aid. Tell me how, traitor. But you stop calling me that! I may well have worked for the Moosepels, but that does not make me a traitor! You wrestle with reason like a rabbit wrestles a boar. I can see through your lies before you even think of them, traitor. Oh, piss off! Stay here. What? Where are you going?
I should not be seen in this area. Time to move. Great! Great! <laughs> Carrying dwarves is fast becoming a habit. What? Never mind. Just get me off this accursed rock! Let's find somewhere fit for a discussion. Could you please just focus on the matter at hand? Don't die. Then do not increase my chances! Listen to me! We can't stay here! I need answers. Now, traitor. Do not call me that! I had my reasons! Not that you'd understand such an abstract concept as reason, you mad, spiteful, half-blind! Choose your next words carefully. <sighs> they may be your last. They have my boy. The Moose Pels. I only did what I did to save him, you see. You save him, I'll do anything you ask. I'll... I'll damn well walk you into God's vault myself. Stop! My... My boy. Oh, my boy. What have they done to you? Get off me. She wanted your life spared, not me. You backstabbing stack of shit. Silence. Balder would never dare speak to me in such a way. You've lost your eyes. You want to lose your tongue as well? Three dwarves is three more than I planned on rescuing. Can any of you fight? Well, of course not. So I must find other uses for you. You owe me. We have much to discuss, but we need to get this one into the Vault of the Ancients. Are you... Do you have any idea what you're saying? To do that, you'd need... A sunstone, yes. And very precisely augmented. Lad, if this is what it takes to drive out the Moose Pels... Uh, then it must be done. All right. There is a sunstone that watches over Onorthorpe. Bring it to me, at Vergamir Milna, and I shall forge that which we need. Must I do everything? Uh, very well. The Sunstone watches over Onorthorpe, a small market town long abandoned. I'll meet you at Vergelmin Milna, and we shall forge the Sunstone into a new form. I watch, you forge. I will bring you the Sunstone. My sight. I think it's returning. I... I can't believe I told you to kill my father. Everything he did was all for you, you ungrateful cur. That doesn't change the fact that he did those things, though, does it? Enough lip, or I'll take your sight for good. I have practice in tearing out eyeballs. Dull as 
this water, but safe once. A simpler life, one that has been denied to me thanks to Loki. Not to mention my own occasional foolishness. stone was here has been carefully removed. No scratches, no scorches. So it was not taken by Muspel hands. What see you, old friend? When I was a child, my brothers and I would rob the fairies. Such innocent times. I remember how the fairies sometimes got wind of our approach and would try to hide their treasures. Fairies. Dwarves. They all think alike. I must search the nooks and crannies of this village. Leave no stone unturned. I was starting to worry you may have met with resistance. 
Those who resist me are not long for this world. Indeed. And we are not short of foes in this area, so I'd be glad for your company. Come, my workshop is close. Here, Aina, your sunstone. This is where you worked before the Muspels invaded. One sight of many, indeed. When the Muspels took Uldar, captured Fritjofer, and my niece. Tira. Yes. I returned to the city, worked with the sons of Ivaldi, but to no avail. So I allowed myself to be captured, offered my services to Glot. To rescue your son. There's more to you than meets the eye, Master Ina. As you can see, it's been some time since I was last here. Now, if I may ask, what does the High One of Asgard seek in Svartalfheim? My motive is not so different to your own. A son to rescue. To do so, I believe I need the relic. Though to what end remains a mystery. I see. So you're not here to save Dwarf Khan? If butchering muspels in my path aids your course, then I will not deny you my gifts. You are most generous. It has been said, yes. Damn it all to Helheim! What? What is it? Javi, forgive me! What? Do you fail me, Aina? The Sunstone must endure incredible heat for me to render it into a new form. My instruments are no longer capable. I'm sorry. Give it to me. I have the means to endure any heat. Of course. When the process is complete, the Sunstone will shine brightly. Bring it to me then, and I shall finish what you have begun. Big words from one so small. It will be done. Now, to subject myself to the kind of heat that would kill all but a muspel. Considerably more simple. what you need now. Yes, I believe so. Let me see. Ah! Still hot. Will this work? Aina. Sorry, uh, sorry. I just... Uh, I've only ever read about this in the ancient scriptures. I've never seen it with my own eyes. Can you get me into the vault or not? I believe so, but... Glod is no fool. He'll surely have made preparations. Let me worry about Glod. As you wish. Now, if all has gone to plan, 
Fritjof and Tira will be in position by the time you arrive within Uldar's old city, the great cavern at its heart. And you? I must catch my breath and calm my nerves, but I will join you there as soon as I can. See that you don't fail me. Have I thus far? I'll do as I've promised. The vault will be yours.
find a way. I was right. Yeah. Sounded like you doubted me for a moment. What of your eyes? Are they mended? Getting there. Recovering. Thank the gods. You're welcome. Now then, show me what to do with this augmented sunstone. Enad? Alive, last I saw. But old and slow. We must begin without him. You know what must be done. My father is the expert in these ancient relics, but uh, how hard can it be? Now, place the sunstone here. Surely it cannot be so simple. No, this mechanism, uh, what was it? Uh, I think yes. We need more light to convert here, on this spot. Leave it to me. Stay out of sight. or worse. See what the light reveals. Yet, the sunstone hungers. More light is needed. No was right. <laughs> the sunstone must be satisfied. Now the relic will be mine. The Vault of the Ancients. <sighs> Bloody unhappy. Couldn't have said it better myself. What is wrong? Why isn't it opening? There's something wrong with the mechanism. Yeah, uh, about that. Uh, I'd feel a lot more confident if my father was... Help! Get to work. I'll stretch my fighting arm. Let's stretch the money! Kill the dwarf! Yes. Come feed the flame!
done. <clears throat> Took you long enough? By Ymir's armpits, what are you doing here, you one-eyed shitbag? Seeking a relic. It's somehow grown more wrinkly and ill-tempered since I last saw it. Fuck off. <laughs> Looking for this, I'd wager. The mighty relic! Piece of junk. I took out all the good stuff already. What? What? Then we shall take our leave. The way out is through the front. You look like you've been to Helheim and back. Claude may be a mongrel bastard, but he knows how to torture a dwarf, that's for sure. him to rule Muspelheim one day. <laughs> oh no, 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 no. She's one of the bad ones. She's, the... She's nothing. But she has Threek's blood on her hands, and must be. Find another way out. Uh, the way we got in! Quick! Get to the shelter. I'll see to her. Promises, promises. You never fail to disappoint. For some of Rira's contracts? Don't be a stranger. If I close my eyes, I can imagine I am back in my favorite tavern in Old Dark. Oh, brought me gems, have you? I'll see when I can find. Made it back then. <laughs> that we did. And without anyone needing to be carried. Ha ha ha! Crediting a eh? What did she say? She said you're welcome oh, to carry her off. 
Another time. Good to see you. Thank you, Javi, for wounding the Moospels here. And for liberating the three of us. Green you know it was not my aim. Green, that green does not change everywhere. our gratitude. Be well, you three. Did you end her? She escaped. Come, I've been cooped up long enough. <sighs> of all the faces I left behind in Asgard, yours is the last I expected to see. You sound disappointed. I'd have preferred you sent a buxom Valkyrie, wearing nothing more than a mischievous smile. And carrying a barrel of the good stuff. Now you're talking, but when I saw you in the palace, through Glod's portal, well, I knew you'd come for me. Thank you. Anything for a friend. My gentle jailer rescuing me from a far worse jail. It's almost poetic. You dwarves never did understand poetry. The sky is high, wood is good, and Harvey is still an arsehole. How is that for poetry, you miserable shit? About as good as you smell. Now, I have a use for you. Harvey has a use for me. Words to chill the blood. Still, you know we dwarves give nothing away for free. Do you breathe fresh air? Or the stench of Glad's torturous. Keep your eye in its socket. What will you have me do? Wait. What? Vermin. Thief. Face me. Be warned. I will finish what you start. Lance Mister. You should have stayed away. The age of Lucifer's begins with your death.
stole my son. Now I have killed his. A small step towards justice. Wish you had let me get a few kicks in. Bastard almost ate me once. Then it is over? The Muspas will be in disarray. Not while Surtur is in power. Tell me more of the relics, and what you did with them. What happened in the vault? What do you think? Glod tortured me, commanded me to revive the relics, then extract their magic so that Surtur might use it in some way. And you could not? How fucking dare you? Of course I could, but not for a shit like him. Of course. Glod was too dim to see that I was dispelling the magic rather than storing it. And as soon as I knew you were coming, I gutted the relics, rendered them useless. So no mighty weapon for that prick Surtur. It is unwise to underestimate such an enemy. But you were short-sighted, Ivaldi. I could have made good use of that magic. Well, if it's items of power you seek. During my imprisonment, I heard rumors. Surtur is building something. Something small, yet very, very potent. And highly valuable to him. So valuable that if it were to fall into your hands, you might do some real damage here, I think. Music to my ears. I will seek out wisdom on the subject. More ancient and advanced than even my own. But first I must equip myself with some decent tools. Starting with a hammer and maybe a chisel or two. There is a dam in the north of Vangrin. Huge bloody thing. Almost completely frozen over. South of the dam, there is a workshop. Perhaps it remains in good order. When your travels are complete, you will find me there. I will come when I'm ready. Great. Yeah. <laughs> hey, come here a moment.
Can't do this alone. Over here! Come, help me with this. I'm here. Right. 
It's over. They'll not harm anyone else. Oh, thank goodness you came, High One. They... they killed my friends! The bastards! I would give you something in thanks, but they already had everything of worth that was in my pack. Really, it's fine. Get to safety, and we shall call it even. Stop by my shelter. I'll give you something there. Nothing fancy. Just something to say thanks. Your Dagger Shelter, it's called. These giants here... They said there's more of them. Might be their leader. Up in the hills, northeast of Stormilna, they said. If my path should take me that way, then perhaps I will pay them a visit. Can you get to your shelter from here? I think so. Well, then I may find you there someday. Good luck. scholar. You have surely earned your people's trust once more. Honestly, it matters not. So long as Fritjofer is out of their clutches, you must understand better than anyone that I do. You shouldn't be here. I ain't want to complain, but there is far too much work. <sighs> Seems like you've got enough materials to enhance your bracer. Mighty Tira, yours shall be a saga for the ages, even if no one understands a word. Saga ye, mava ond and dechrai havi. My thoughts exactly. Can you spare any food? Back again, I see. found a new design for me. May I see your stores? Gems.
me with this. Ithiel, break of bolts, seeker of relics, the blind one who now sees. And you're only half an asshole. Not bad for a one-eyed Aesir. Be well. No, you are welcome in Asgard. We have meat that will drive you blind all over again. Yeah, maybe I'll give that a miss. Plenty of work to go around. You ever feel like chipping it? Ha! Oh, good day there! May fortune shine upon you as it has on me. <laughs> You're very light of heart, considering the plight of your people. Oh, it's a tragedy, no doubt. But life's about searching for that glimmer of gold. <laughs> I'm happier here than I ever was before. I would welcome a glad tale. There have been few enough of late. I'm a blacksmith. Good as any man. <sighs> but you try telling that to them up there. If you don't have hairy forearms and a beard, they'll go somewhere else. Business was bad. No one gave me a chance. Thought a woman's hammer toil was inferior. Those clod-brained dunces. Then, the invasion. We fled to this shelter, and I'm the only smith down here. Are they paying attention now? <laughs> you bet they are. The finest armor. The sharpest swords. They sing the praises of Elga the smith now. <laughs> Just sad so many had to die for them to see it. Shelters must be near. This way will take me to. This looks like a bird's nest. Runic 
symbol. The shelter must... their paths in plain sight. Fix up your boat, or don't. Makes no odds to me. Have you got any new designs for me? like to see what you have in stock. Anything else? Your enthusiasm is quite inspiring. Oh, is it? That's nice. Are you buying something? I'll come back later. Looking for work? Greta is always happy to oblige. Have fun. Be welcome, friend. Let me make art of your skin, a sculpture of your hair. The plight of your people has not dampened your spirits, it seems. The surest cure for sadness is to make merry, and we have made merry indeed. What have you got for... Anything else? Does it not prick at your conscience to feast in this place of plenty, while your kin starve throughout the realm? Ah, should I be miserable because they are, to each their fate? Mine was to find sanctuary here, beneath the bountiful tree. I will enjoy what time I have, till better days come, or not. Another time. <laughs> To... Look around! There's got to be a tank that we can tongue a few drops out of. Don't let me interrupt you. Lord, am I pissed or does the Allfather stand before me? Uh, both? <laughs> this... this is good! The Wise One will surely help solve our problem. Let us help one another. What exactly is the source of your grief here? Rhymes! Rhythm! Oh, we could use your poet's heart. My what? Your words! Your gusto! We, the greatest of the sons of Ivaldi, are in need of a fitting end to the song. Will our end? I am here to understand how you might help me strike back at Sutra. Strike back? Nonsense! Besides, it is not only he we must contend with, but his kin, his daughter Asa, stirs above, snatches up our people, works them to death, 
an unwinnable war, all that's left to do is eat, drink, shag, and seal our legacies. Exactly! But as is clear as day, we have drunk ourselves to hell, and no prime sticks the way it should. So, it must be you who completes the song of our saga, mine and Lom's. That is not why I've come. Of course it is! Fate has brought you here. We are to be remembered and revered by all. Yes! With Javi among us, we must adjust the final verse. Listen closely. <clears throat> Till the depths of Svartalheim, great Javi came, met with dwarves he knew not by name. In search of warriors without remiss, instead found cowards who reek of piss. And uh, not quite what I was thinking. Let's try. You call yourselves the sons of Ivaldi. Why? To shit on his name? Brammer, I don't think he means to lend his words to our song. Go away, Mom. Your words carve a deep wound, but they are true enough. Each day we see our numbers dwindle. Trends go out, but do not return. The choice to forget is alluring. Sutra has stolen my son, and I do not have the luxury of forgetting. You said Sutra has a daughter. Yes. Clever, cunning, commands an elite swath of warriors. She oversees Surtur's operations here. Where may I find her? There is a smeltery up the road. The dwarves there may know. I'll go there, see what your people know. With luck, I can trap Asa, trade her life for my sons. Thank you, Bermia. I'll tend to your people as a true son of Ivaldi should. They need you. I will. She will bear the of her fury. She will regret having ever followed her father into Swartal's hands. I don't I'm really laid back, but I so high. What for? I may so never wake again. Then he put our invaders like Stormy, hack us to pieces, Dead beat us to their beasts. Or maybe they will flood the cavern with their boiling mac, melt us into soup. Do we always get turned into food? <gasps> He's a terrifying car. Oh, oh boy. boy. We do not Good to see you somewhere safer. Hi, one. Good to see you again. Here! Something to show my appreciation for saving my life. This is unnecessary, but thank you. More of these Jotun leaders live. I should do something about that. You shouldn't be here! Can it be? Host father, mighty poet, chooser of the slain! The raven god, whom they call Oski, Sigdir, Havi. I know my names, friend, and they are many. But what is yours? I am Ori, son of Nori, son of Gori, also son of Gori. Uh, they have the same name, you see? The uh, begetter Fimbur, who was sired by Fomur, third child of Bombur. Uh, then there was Gubrak, Voldi, Gori again. Ori, you said? Well, that's right, son of Nori. Something else? Your pride in your family does you credit. Are any of them here with you? Oh no. Dead, a lot of them. Father, he was crushed when a cow wandered off a cliff and landed on him. Grandma, a bird sent her face, she fell off her pony and ran herself over with her own cart. Grandpa lost his razor, so he tried shaving with his axe instead. You can imagine how that went. <laughs> that is quite a streak of misfortune. <laughs> exactly. Bad luck runs in the family. Prone to misadventure, you might say. Still, I made it down here when the invasion began. Feasting and idling all day long. So maybe my luck has turned at last.
We'll speak again. Hello there. Well, well, well. Looks as though we have a guest of honor. Come to join us in our final moment of respite, High One. Is that the sorry side I see before me? Ah, oh, piss off with that high and mighty aura. You will not dampen our mood. Of that I'm sure. Why are you here? This is quite a feast for so desperate a time. Bountiful food. Bountiful ale. Bountiful women. Would you be anywhere else? You make a strong argument. Excuse me. Be on You're looking for the blacksmith? Please. He's out. Went on an expedition, he said. You're looking for the blacksmith? He's out. Went on an expedition, he said. Oh, greeting, stranger. You've got the look of one who knows how to throw a line. I would have thought you had a little need of help in this place of plenty. Mm. It's true the fish came easy from that lake. <laughs> Too easy. We ate our fill and more, and we thought they'd last forever. We were wrong. Bring me fish from outside, stranger. From the places we dare not go. I'll reward you well. I have something that may interest you. Need something more? I'll return another time. But I heard that. It's the thought of having a sense of your belonging. Don't be seen here. So when I get to it, it's because if you don't, then neither do I. I reckon they're lying to us yes, about well the said, invasion. My love. Just keep well us down here. Don't us any Fine. This marks the end. Well, we at least go out with our bellies as full as our spirits. Death may have to carry us into the next realm. <laughs> <laughs> a hovel full of weighty dwarves. The burden alone may prove too Come much. Come drink with me. Come back Unless another you're... day, life taker. Unless you're and sissy. And bring the sturdy ship. <laughs> <laughs> Toil as if tomorrow will never come. Is this the pace Asa demands? It keeps her pesky rodents off my back. Keeps me fed. Well, barely. At this rate, I could eat a troll. I imagine the hunger pangs hit quite frequently here. May I offer you something to eat? It would surely help keep this toiler going. I have something that will sate your belly and hopefully rouse your spirits. 
How can I repay such a kindness? Aether is a common enemy of ours, and I'm looking for her. Huh. Common enemy is right. If I had it my way, I would bash her pretty face into scalding goo. Sadly, she has not returned for me to try my hand. And I do not know where she has gone. Is there anything you can tell me? Hmm. I get the growing sense you mean to confront her. Forcefully. Then do have caution. Asa can use magma to treat her wounds. Quite quickly, I might add. She always has a silky fresh layer on her skin. I'll have to remember that. If you see Asa, you will give her my friendly regards, won't you? Can you spare a moment? Piss off, one eye. <laughs> friendly. Can you spare a moment? Piss off, one eye. <laughs> friendly. I would have a word with you. And Asir? You... you should not be here. I'll only take a moment. Please go. I do not want trouble with the guards. They allow me to speak only when reporting to them, and them alone. I should disguise myself as a Muspel. Why are you here? Do not react, as I, the Asian. But what? That is quite the disguise. If Loki is giving lessons, tell him we could use his expertise. I have him locked away in a dungeon cell for roughly the next thousand years. Ah. Uh, so then, what brings you? You have not come to lend your hand in the muck. I am looking for Aether. Can you help me with that? Suter's daughter. Haven't seen her for some time now. She's got her minions keeping a watchful eye on us, though. What I can say is that wherever she goes, she makes it a point to forge large magma pools. Seen her do it here. Walks around in them. I hear she can even move through them. Something to look forward to. Crafty she is. If you see any liquid fire pits, it may be proof she is nearby. I will keep an eye out. <sighs> You all right? Move away! I need to fix this, or I'll lose the whole batch along with my head. <coughs> you and I should talk. Hi, one. Is that really you? What are you doing here? I've come looking for Sutra's daughter, the one they call Asa. I hear she frequents this place. She makes her rounds, comes to see that we are working as best we can. 
What is all this work for? Who knows? She brings us the ores, we extract the metals. They go to Sutra for whatever it is he so desires. What is she like, this Asa? Get on her bad side and she'll bark her threats. But so long as you keep on the straight and narrow, she is uh, tolerable. Ensures you are well fed and healed of your wounds. Sets the bar high for a Muspel. Where might I find her now? I do not know. But you can try your luck around the kiln. <coughs> Asa appears soft of heart. For a Muspel. This is very, very bad. You should be here. Leave us alone. Now. Uh. Huh? Go, my eyes. Thing. Out of here now keep quiet quiet my arse is on fire wait you can walk over magma we are in the clear i think put me down <laughs> yeah. are you okay i owe you my life those muspels were prepared to let me bake to death you are in no debt to me though as it turns out i have need of your help me? What can I help you with? Putting a stop to this invasion. I am listening? I know Asa oversees your work. I need to find her. What do you know of her whereabouts? Nothing more than which way I saw her leave. It was east. Though, interestingly, she took a bunch of my people with her. Diggers. Maybe she is scouring another site? That is helpful. Farewell and keep safe. At last! Oh, relief! How can I loosen it? Go east. That is where I last saw Asa headed. Good as new. You have done me a great service. I could kiss you. I'd prefer you use your lips to tell me where I may find Asa. Asa? What business does an Asir have with a Muspel princess? I have a quarrel with Sutur. His daughter will help me rectify it. And how do you plan on that? Asa may come off as a young cub, but she does have a dark side. As do I. Can you tell me where to find her or not? Not exactly. The resources we receive come from a Milna. But I haven't got a clue which. Our blacksmith, 
Dramnik. Asa took some of his workers with her. He may know more, but have caution. Last I heard, the guards are making an example out of him. Some other task has stolen Asa's attention as of late. If she's distracted, that will make capturing her all the more simple. Are you lost, Desir? That depends. I'm looking for someone. I was told I might find her here. Maybe you know her. Muspel, around your age. Goes by Asa. Father's a... Uh, how shall I put this? A vainglorious fool who thinks himself a god. Never heard of her. Then you will not mind if I stay a while. Dip my toes in one of these soothing fire baths. I have a better idea. Oh. Turn around. Go back from where you came. And please, do mind your step. That is no way to welcome a curious outsider. Care to put that away? Why? Afraid I know how to use it? I'm sure you can use it. Passably well. But then I would have to kill you. Don't worry. You won't. Ain't by Asa. There is an easy way out of this. Now where is the fun in that?
Let's keep the baubles out of it, shall we? Oh no. The godly gloating. Smite me, I cannot bear it. If I were you, I would save the tongue wit for a more appropriate time. I saw no such trinket on Sutra. Yet he too has a problem with dying. So that was you and A3. What squabble had you trading blows with my father? He has taken my son. And now I will give your father a taste of what he has wrought. Move, so that I may trade his child for mine. <laughs> you clearly do not know my father. Your son, Baldur, I assume. He has something my father needs. And if that is so, Papa would sooner see me dead than give in to your demands. If you want your son back, you will need something far more precious than me to barter with. Me, his own daughter? I simply will not do. Then there's no longer any need for you to draw breath. Asa! We found it! We found. Oh! Found what? <laughs> what have you found? Uh, Asa would not want me to say. Asa is no longer here. I am Havi of Asgard, Lord of Frenzy. And you are in full control of my temper. Uh, I'm, uh, I'm, uh, I'm a, a mural. Asa believes it may help her gain entry to an ancient vault. It is in a cavern. That way! So long as Suter lives, my son will be his prisoner. How does one kill that which cannot be killed? If death is not his weakness, then I must find something that is. of which may allude to peaks or mountains. You! Can you read this to me? Me? Uh, I, uh, uh, I, I can try. Elven runes are not something I can decipher with ease. You will fare better than I, and that will have to do. Any mention of an ancient vault, a door, secret entrance, maybe? Uh, no, uh, but uh, I can make out this. See? Two great mountains to the north, the sun and moon above. That's it? Regrets, Asir. We are simple diggers, not experts of things writ long ago. Not to worry. You've been a great help. Thank you, Mule, Asa. Let's see now. It was located between two great mountains to the north. I should search there.
along with you. getting somewhere. to occupy this space. Sigrun and Halstein. Whoever did this, I will see that there is a price to pay. The wounds in their chests. Identical and cauterized. I've seen nothing like it. It's... unnatural. Some sort of ritual was prepared. The orchestrator came for the ancient elven object built into the wall. Possibly even used it in the ritual. Is that what led to the dwarves' death? The Muspels then left, taking the object with them. But the purpose of this ritual of theirs remains a mystery to me. That sigil. I think I glimpsed it before in A3 while I searched for Balder. Perhaps we'll find some answers there.
vault around here before. Find it, and I may find the culprit. Amid all this excitement, I have had little time to dwell on Ragnarok. When will the storm break? Tomorrow? Or far in the future? I think the latter more likely. I have Loki imprisoned for whatever role he has played in Baldur's predicament. His son, too, is bound by my chains. What of Sutra? Prophecies say he must play a part in Ragnarok. But for now, he is merely the abductor of my child, not the bringer of the Twilight. Still, once Baldur is safe, I will return to Asgard and raise an army. The spell he must be conquered without mercy.
film, the ritual at the vault was once here. Writings on the ritual. They are performed at night. There's emphasis on something called a salakar. My elven is rusty. Vessel of souls, I think. Is this the object from the vault? The culprit was deciphering elven runes. Something about the binding of only the most powerful hoogers. Searches for a Jotun and a Muspel subject to complete their work. Muspel's killing Muspel's. your feed, Asa. Following me now? You've become quite useful, Aesir. My gratitude for opening the vault. Now tell me, what happened there? I'm following the stink as it rises. As are you. Care to tell me why that is? Days ago, Sinmara ordered my best warriors to the vault without bothering to inform me. I've not heard from them since. Well, you're casting your suspicions at the right people. Whose quarters are these? His name is Calder, an adept in magic. Or Seder, as you Asgardians sometimes call it. This place is where he practices it. Whatever he's doing, it is not Seder. At least not as I know it. He is using something called a Salakar. It's part of a deadly ritual. And from what this room tells me, the dead will continue to pile up. Dwarves. Yotna. Muspels. I don't know what you're talking about. You wouldn't. Your stepmother despises and distrusts you. Your father only the latter of those, for now. But in time, thanks to her venomous whispers, he may come to hate you as much as she does. This is a lie. All of it. Your twisted attempt to pit me against them. <laughs> Sift through the mess yourself. No other truth lies within. Where are you going? After the Salakar. Whatever it is, your father needs it. Maybe the only leverage I have to get my son back. Calder marked a place on a map surrounded by waters just northeast. If he's planning another ritual there, I may be able to understand what value this Salakar holds. Best not to draw all that may be nearby. This roof should give me a clear view.
permission we will now return to Asa. Or soon. I have need for you still. Asa's warriors. Where do they fit into all this? You are one of our captains, yes? A duty I share with two others here. I thought I saw something in you. Stout. Resolute. Step over here. Sigrun and Halstein were two of the most revered sons of Ivaldi. If such prestige is a requirement for these rituals, then Calder is surely luring that Muspel to his death. I wonder if there's a way I can observe the ritual up close. I need to approach Calder without him taking notice. Perhaps the best way is with deception. Join me, chosen ones. Together. We will enact Suter's will. Who among them hold us in hideouts, biding their time and plotting against us? Not sure I buy it, but keep your eyes open. You see. These fools dared stand in her path. Several wounds. This one put up a fight. Briefly, I suspect.
Was zu doll. How hard was he knocked into this rock? Most likely dead upon impact. He's a caught up to Calder. His warriors moved in while he pushed on. But Asa tore through them like a whirlwind. The trail of the dead reveals a direction. All those two. Most importantly, the Sala cars. They are headed west. I need to find Calda before Asa does. In her bloodlust, the Salakar is not safe. <laughs> Looks like these two brought all the fires of useful time with them. And Freya wonders why I have always refused to take her on a tour of that scorched dunghill. Asa and Calda fought here. Blood was spilled. Two sets of footprints. One is stretched, like someone fled. The other closer together, uneven and lined with blood. They were hobbling, perhaps. Aza and Calder fought here. He gained the advantage. Foolish girl. Aza, your rage makes you vulnerable. She's hurt. But not enough to stop her. Looks like she followed Calder up that hill. Must be careful now. No sight of Asa or Calder. Only these curious Yupton buffoons who stand in my way. They should run, but they won't. Finally, Besta. Asa chased Calder into this camp, leaking her lifeblood, blinded by rage and utterly reckless. <sighs> Looks to have cost her too. She came crashing in, mauling whatever halfwit stood between her and Calder. Those halfwits fought back in numbers. Injured and disarmed, she was overpowered and restrained. Calder then had her tossed onto a cart like a sack of turnips. Looks like they fled up that path. What is it Calder plans to do with the little princess now that she is his prisoner? Surely not. These tracks lead west. I must find Calder and the Salakar. For Baldur's sake. Is this bloody? 
face us. Or is she still proving too much to handle? Again, mad one. Come to tempt fate, I see. I do not die this day. Can you say the same? <laughs> ah, yes. You've proven once already how you like to strut around, unencumbered by fear. Perhaps the summer card did not give you an adequate taste of it. Enough of this blithering. Hand over what is now mine, or shall I just take it? To no fear, we must be subjected to it. When I am through with you, I will take Asa's willful ogre. Soon after, the Salakar will be complete. Then, believe me, you will know fear and pain, just like your son. Weak! Oh! Fail! What happened, old oh, Too much of that pretentious Asgardian air! Why is Sutter collecting hookahs? What does he mean to do with the Salakar? Tell me! <clears throat> Why do you aim to finish my work? Ask yourself how much you care to suffer in these final moments. Do your worst! You are wasting your breath. He will not tell you. And he won't have to. His secrets are known to me now. You want them? Move aside. Move aside, or I will destroy it. Traitor! Traitor? It is you who are slaughtering your own kind. What I do, I do for Sutter. Such devotion requires a strong Hugar. All these Muspel sacrifices, you needed only look inward. Was he right? About you wanting to complete the Salakar? 
Sutra will not trade my son for something he cannot use. So you will see it through? To what end? How many lives would you take? For Balda, I would drain all nine realms. Even Asgard. The words of a dreadful king. And a selfless father. It is the one thing that separates you from my own. You wish to reunite with your son. I wish to see my father's plans lie in ruin. No matter the price. Can you see both through? I can. But I will need your help. The Salakar still requires the Hooger of a suitable Jotun. Colton never found one. I must get hunting. Do as you will. In the meantime, I'll join my stepmother, wherever she may be. I will try to learn how the Salakar fits into my father's plans. Under the guise of a contrite stepdaughter, of course. Keep it. I will need a way to find you when it is time to confront my father. You and this Babel share a bond. I set out to use you to my advantage. It ends with me in your debt. If it were not for you, I would have never known what my father was capable of. He used our people. Turned them on each other. For his gain. I cannot forgive him. And to that end, I am your ally. In Asgard, an ally is a friend. Let us not get carried away. find a suitable Jotun. Perhaps if I listen to that chatter, some fount of wisdom will reveal itself. I should return to the shelter. Perhaps the dwarves there can aid me in finding a Jotun worthy of the Zalakar. How are you and these folk getting on, lady? Better now that I see there is an Asir among us. You'll free us from the clutches of that red witch, won't you? Who do you mean? Asa, daughter of Surtr. She has taken our people. Please, All Father, you must help us. Enlist all of Asgard if need be. Please. What else can you tell me about this Asa? Only that so long as she is out there, we will remain down here. Help us. Speak to Bramir. If he is still able to string a sentence together, that drunkard. Again. Oh, 
Some more? Help me, and I'll compose you a saga so exalted it will endure Ragnarok itself. But first, I need a name and a place. For what? For whom? The mightiest Jotun in all of Svartalfheim. We know the one. Right hand of Sutinger. Uh, Malviger. Here because of us. She is. Worthwhile. Gave your son Vidar quite the beating once, didn't she? One day Vidar will make me proud. But why would Malviga care about you two? Premier and Lom aren't our real names. <laughs> Allow me to introduce Fiala and Gala. The ones who killed Sutinger's father. I heard something about him trying to outdrink a couple of dwarfs. And after, befuddled, tripping and breaking his neck. <sighs> Sutengar wasn't happy. Held us responsible. But luckily we'd acquired some mead. Some special mead. And well, Sutengar is partial to a bit of mead. We bartered it in exchange for our lives. Except afterwards, some thieving twat went and stole it. Loki, most likely. It's always Loki. Whoever it was, Sutunga didn't catch them. So he decided to take it out on us instead. Sent Malviga to hunt us down. Been incognito ever since. Can't trust this lot not to sell us out. Still, she hasn't found us yet. She will. Malviga's dangerous prey, even for you. We can help balance the scales. Our old house, north of here. Sunk in a lake. Inside, upstairs on a table. You'll find a cup of great potency. Cup? You know, the cup. Oh yes, the cup. Has the power to do wonderful stuff. For instance... So, I bring you the cup, and then... We show you how to use it against Malviga. It's a deal. Chase it on. No one wants to hear us. Hey. What? But we're uh, giant yes. killers. <laughs> they may dry us with fire, no but little do they know what fires no these hands have in turns. And Asa! Oh, that little tongue. Well, I'm but getting tired of all this Christianity. So she will bear the brunt no of her fury. She will regret having ever followed her father into Swartal's hate. I know what it means we get to live. Spirits, no. There is little, I guess.
one of your enemies alive, so they can tell of your greatness. Everyone knows of my greatness. Perhaps there are one or two who have not yet heard? Just tell me where Malviger is. What... what's in it for me? I do not know, but I will tell you this. The longer you make me wait, the worse it will be. <sighs> Malviger is at the den to the west. And now? Will you spare me? Until next we meet. <laughs> there will be no next. You can be sure of that. when I once roved the land with Freak. The cool nights spent together beneath the stars. She enjoyed the solitude as much as I. And the trouble and danger even more. And then came the war with the Vanya. Taking Freya as my bride. It helped end that strife. But it ended many other things too. What trickery is this? The dam is tempest. Yes, natural.
had hoped that by serving you up, I would show them mercy. Clearly a misapprehension on their part. Yet here I am, served up. If I were here for you, High One, I would have brought an army. No, Sutengar will have his vengeance. But not here. I know why you have come. I have a bone to pick with you. After what you did to my son, Vida, I must... Vidar put up an honorable fight. That is not what I heard. Do not believe the stories. Upon his return, too weak to stand, he squirmed like a worm caught in the sun. <laughs> you should have seen me. My acolytes had to carry me home on their backs. No. Your boy fought well. Is that why you spared his life? It is. But you aren't here to avenge Vidar's honor. You have come to steal my Hugar. And I intend to stop you. How do you know this? Esir, Jotun. You and Loki are both mad. And Hirokin is just as bad. And Thor? He's so stupid he might as well be mad. You spread chaos wherever you go. Yet, you are all known quantities to us. Surtur is not. He rarely emerges from Muspelheim, and when he does, he shares little with us. Thus, while here, I have sent my spies to learn what he plans, beyond wiping out the dwarves like he did the elves of Alfheim. What do you know of his plans? I know that he found a powerful elven relic, and that his minion, Calder, was tasked with finding the Hugaris necessary to sustain it. That Calder is now trapped within said relic, and that you would have me join him. I must trade the Salakar for my son. You. The one who almost killed Sutengar for his meat. We'll hand over a legendary relic, take your son and leave. Just like that. <laughs> Put your mania aside, Javi. Work with me. Together we will foil Surtur's ambitions. I cannot take the risk. With each breath, Baldur is a step closer to death. I was a parent once. But we must look beyond ourselves. For the good of all. We have spoken long enough. So...
heavy. Keep focus. This is a fight to the death, not a lover's tip. My body comes to you, sent by the same ambassador who claimed your own. As for my Hooger, do not weep for me. I do not deserve this. No, you do not. Anything worthy of your talents? This will have to do. Soon you can put them to good use. By Emir, is that a, a Salakar? I never knew they actually existed. I know all the sagas of your people, yet I've never heard. I never of... said my people. You mean the Light Elves? There aren't many who remember the Children of Light, or their stories. I do. When Sutra invaded their lands, they begged me for aid. The war with the Vani had only just ended and I was... ...wary. Long after, I learned how Sutra devoured the Elves' immortal light, Uga by Uga. Maybe it's the same light that now allows him to renew himself after death. During the conquest, he must have uncovered knowledge of the Salakars. But to what end? What Hugers does it hold? Those of two warlords. One a Muspel, the other a Jotun. Nothing more? Nothing more. At least not of value. He speaks the truth. You deal with a fire nymph? A fire nymph? I am the finest fire nymph in all of Svartalheim. Allow me to introduce Asa, treasoner's daughter of Sutra, and my friend. You grow dewy eyed in your dotage. What have you unearthed? Only rumors. My father is rebuilding something large and powerful. Though its exact nature, I cannot fathom. And the Salakar is intended to be part of this... this something. Most likely. Either way, its value to my father is so great, he may indeed trade your son for its return. 
Return to your stepmother. Arrange a trade. And one more thing. I would feel better knowing you are protected. Sinmara travels far and wide. But I will rejoin her as you wish. Whatever the Salakar is, I must steal it back once Baldur is safe. Why? Ragnarok comes. I've made plans, but they are not ideal. Perhaps the Salakar offers another way. One that will allow me to truly save those I care about. Even you. Mm, to unlock its secrets, I will need help. There are rumors of a shelter nearby. Its dwellers may be able to assist me. Try looking near the largest karst south of here. Tell them I sent you. No dwarf would give up the chance to work with Ivaldi. Langren was once home to your rivals, Sindri and Broker. Your name may not carry much weight here. Don't make me laugh. No one cares about those two. I'll follow you once I've finished taking what I need. This is the old workshop that Ivaldi spoke of. I should check if he's already here. Perhaps I should take another peek at the Salakar. Ah, oh, damn it. Better not. I will need help if I am to study the Salakar. Go away! Please! You're working so hard that even my calluses have blisters. Oh, brought me gems, have you? Here. More gemstones for your collection. See? How can there be an invasion with so many gems lying around? I'll see what I can find for you. If only King Raithmar was still alive, we wouldn't be stuck down here. Half the price? That seems generous. Well, I doubled the prices yesterday to make a profit, but nobody bought anything. So, half the price today. You haven't been doing this very long, have you? It's my second day. Isn't there someone more experienced to show you the ropes? Nope. I saw a gap in the market and I went for it. Why? Aren't they doing a good job? No, no, it, it's, it's not that. You think I'm awful? You do, don't you? <laughs> Is this a ploy to persuade me to buy something? Is it working? Uh. Go on. Goodbye for now. Oh, shit! Hmm? Bonde! Dreirast! 
I do not take kindly to being interrupted. Asgard has abandoned. Charming. No, we are their dearest allies. They won't let us down. Ah, a sight for Zora. Ah. Greetings, dwarf. I am Harvey of the Asia. Ah. You're not one to waste words, friend. I wish there were more like you. Let's to be one. That is killing me. The toil never ends. Did anyone follow you? What do you want? Oh, Here to help? You are always welcome. How can so many starving dwarves produce so much shit? Hello there. I bring word from Ivaldi. What do I care? Go talk to the Ganger. Ganger? Yeah. The chief? Name's Oakland. You know how it works. Fix a problem with Greta, get a reward. If only everyone was as motivated as you. Look around you, Essia. All the treasure a heart could want, but not a scrap of food for the belly. What good is a thing if it makes no one happy? All that counts are people in the end. Huh? You've recruited another soldier. What was this place before it became your sanctuary? A treasury. When the invasion began, they sent warriors to guard it. Our leaders would rather protect their wealth than our lives. And we followed, seeking protection. And so we are here, all the wealth we could wish for, yet hungry and miserable still. I would like to reorganize the crew. What? Keep well. Strange. I just spoke to that fellow. Why are you? Eat A word, my friend. Evil D requests your aid. <laughs> Ain't my concern. Go talk to Augler. He's the master of this workshop? Master? <laughs> nah, but he's chief when the masters ain't here. What do you want? Evaldi sends me. He requires the help of a skilled artisan. A meeting of minds, huh? Well, it ain't up to me. You'd best talk to Brokir or Sindri. They still breathe? Where are they? No idea. Sindri went off adventuring. He does that. Mind you, it's been a while since he left. How much of a while? Couple of weeks. And his absence doesn't worry you? Not my business where he goes. And Broker. Went to look for Sindri. <laughs> Bit of a worry guts, that one. Ever since he mucked up the forging of Mjolnir. Anyway, look, leave your name and I'll pass it to Broker when he shows up. Tell him Harvey of Asgard was here. Harvey of... By Ymir? Really, it is you? I'll return tonight. In the meantime, fetch Ivaldi. He's at the old workshop ruins. The High One will save us from the Giants, but who will save us from the High One? How can so many starving dwarves produce so much? Oh shit!
times it stung me. Three on the hand, then the neck, oh, then on my eyeball. A true master would ignore such trifles. Trifles? That gadfly was the size of a squirrel, a big one. An ogre could tear me limb from limb, and still my severed hands would finish the job. That is focus. That is passion. That is horseshit. Master Broker, I'm glad you have made it home. And your brother? Did you find him? Yeah. You never did say where he was. I believe Sindri went adventuring. Adventuring? No, no, that's not it. He went to find the special mead. Had a hankering, he said. Special mead? Yeah, the special mead. Sutunga's special meat? What's that frosty ass got to do with it? We ain't in Jotunheim in case you hadn't noticed. Well, there's this mead they make down at the brewery. So sweet, it can... Uh, it can... Uh, well, it's bloody sweet, all right? Anyway, Sindri had an itch for it. Just a horn or two, he said. So, off he goes. That was half a moon ago. I told him not to do it. Too many giants out there, but he wouldn't listen. Uh, him and his cravings. Where can I find this brewery? Ailthorpe, southeast of here, other side of the marsh. Can't miss it. You're going to rescue him? I will find him, yes. And afterwards, you and he will repay me by helping Evil Dee with the job I need done. Now, hold on. We didn't, uh... Good, good. We have a deal. That gadfly? It was Loki. Thor himself could not have withstood the sting. So many starving dwarves could do so much Remind shit. me, why do I find myself? Asgard has abandoned me. No, we are their you dearest allies. Them. They won't let us down. Fuck off. I'm the same age as you. And in all that time, consider what I have learned and what you haven't.
This place is heavily guarded. The sweet scent of mead. Followed by the stench of more spells. Yakna, too. The smell of mead grows strong. This must be where everything is stored. Sentry's nose have guided him here. To your posts! Guide me. Have a look, Sunin. Where are they holding him, I wonder?
chain was placed here. From the scarring, something heavy was suspended from it. I've carried enough dwarves recently to know they are not as light as they look. Is this Sindri's special mead? Given the puddles on the floor, he must have taken a bath in it. This hammer bears the mark of Sindri. And here, a bag of roasted acorns. This blood is many days old. One trail leads in, the other out. What do we have here? The Muspels have a prison not far from here. Jan's house, they call it. Some days ago, Sindri was captured while sneaking outside. He was dragged in here for interrogation. His belongings were seized. Even his roasted acorns, one of the many dwarven delicacies I will never fathom. They tried to loosen his tongue using the same sweet mead he himself sought. Almost drowned him in it. But the shelter has not been raided. So Sindri must have remained strong and refused to give them its location. Instead, he was dragged away. Bloodied. Drunk as a fish, but alive. Most likely to face further tortures at a makeshift prison named Jan's Hoos. That is where I should go next.
that I would even wish upon Loki, no matter his crimes. It's likely Sindri was brought here many days ago. I hope I'm not too late. such as Sindri's, are of lesser value. Still, it can't be coincidence that Kaldas sated the Salakar with the Hugas of so many races. Muspel, a Jotun dwarf, who knows what else. Hail to you, friend. If it's bird or beast you seek, you come to the right place. Everything you see is for sale, except for Nara, of course. And who is Nara? Your prize steed? That knackered old nag, she's nobody's prize. But I owe her, and that's why she'll always hold a place in my heart. You're in debt to a horse. I am, but she saved my life. 
The adult old thing broke out of a pen and wandered far from the village, and I set out to find her. Took me a day and a night to bring her home. When I did, I found my village in flame and ruin. No one got out alive. None but you. Aye, and I have Nara to thank for that. Together we made for the nearest shelter and... Well, here we are. Please, let this not be our missing master. Who is this you bring? No! It can't be! Master Broker, I share in your grief. Truly I do. Your brother was the worthiest of dwarves. More so than you will ever know. Oh, Sindri. No. No! My dear Sindri! The funeral arrangements are being made outside. I must use this chance to bend the broker to my will. I must speak with broker. find a way to ease Broker's sorrow, and make him amenable to my wishes. You lied to me! You said you would save him! I said I would find him. That ain't my brother! Not anymore! What happened? Tell me... everything! As I neared the village, I... I heard a great roar, like that of a wounded bear. Soon after, I witnessed the final act of a mighty battle. Sindri, beset by giants on all sides. It was he who made the godlike roars. He... he always did have a deep voice. He wielded his hammer and chisel with uncommon skill. Yes! Yes, I've seen him do it many times in the workshop. Giants lay strewn about, slain by Sindri's hand. Oh, but then... One of cowardly aspect struck your brother treacherously in the back. Yet even as Sindri succumbed to the blow, he lopped his chisel and struck the coward dead. Right between the eyes. Sindri did all that? So it will be written. I'll cut down that oak tree, now Sindri's gone. Can't stand the sight of it without him here. <laughs> Last time I saw the master, he was sitting under his oak tree, roasting his acorns, oiling his favorite hammer. How can I tell Broker we're missing the tools? <sighs> Where could they be? There's something wrong, Basil. Everything is wrong. We're burying the greatest smith who ever lived, and we don't have his tools to put with him. I came across some at Aelthorpe. If you want, I can fetch... Those are just the spares. He never took his best ones from the shelter. I see. How is it that such valuable instruments have been misplaced? Misplaced? Don't be daft. Hidden, more like. By Sindri. To make sure no one else ever touched them. Particularly Brooker. Except now we can't find them. You have no idea where they might be. Well, they're inside the shelter, I can tell you that. Well, they can't be too far. I'd be surprised if they're somewhere up high. I thought dwarves were afraid of heights. Not our Sindri. He was quite the climber. Now me, well, 
I prefer to keep my feet on the ground, right where they should be. Not now. I need time to grieve. I'm very fond of the dwarves, yet their constant needs is exhausting. Oh, Loki. Friend, betrayer. What I'd give for a moment of your gilded conversation. Even the lies. If I was Sindri, where would I hide my beloved tools? Somewhere high up, perhaps. If I was Sindri, where would I hide my beloved tools? Somewhere high up, perhaps. tools with Sindri's remains before the ceremony begins. I hear Versal can't find the Master's tools. It's too horrible to even think about. The disaster has been averted. Now I see why some call you God! You're making me blush. Still, I have my moments. Heroes die, but not their legacy. Such was Sindri's courage, that tonight he feasts in Valhalla, the first of his kind to ever do so. I'm here for the mead, not the company. You dwarves and your love of mead. It's cost me enough trouble already. It wasn't a dwarf who ransacked half of Jotunheim in search of some mysterious mead. <laughs> I wouldn't know anything about that. You know, old friend, now would be a good time for some grand gesture. Like what? A respectful speech from you. Sindri's greatest rival would surely... Ah, fuck off. We must all make compromises. I can even give you the honeyed words. Time soothes the well of suffering. Brings hope that sees beyond chill death. We cast the whirlpool of sorrow into the placid waters of the philosophic mind. Are those words for Sindri or Baldur? Baldur lives. Why would he need such words? Of course, of course. I, I, I didn't mean to... Well, you know. Fine, I'll do the speech. But it will be one of my making, not yours. We dwarves don't care much for poetry. Still... We can't set about making speeches until the torches are all lit up. <laughs> Who knows how long it will take before the dwarves get around to lighting the torches. It'll be faster if I do it. Yes, sir, sir. And 
dwarves have saved the place for me. This is a My brother, a true master. He was, sir. Uh... I did not like Sindri, and he did not like me. Still, he was good with the hammer, and the chisel, and the sword. And he knew how to work the bellows. Some said better than anyone. Even me. <laughs> Broker, your brother was a very fine smithy. I... I admired him greatly. Master Broker, we've given Sindri an excellent send-off. It's the least he deserves. But is it really true he feasts in Valhalla? It is. I saw it in a vision. Come. Let's take a stroll. Now, tell me, are you prepared to continue Sindri's good work? Helping Ivaldi was not my brother's work. But the fine Sutra was. It's what got him killed. Greed for mead is what got him killed. It took courage to go after that meat. A direct challenge to Sutra's authority. This is crooked thinking. Seems straight enough to me. You know, I don't reckon I owe you a bloody thing. I risked my life to retrieve your brother's body. Now I prepare to risk it again. For you and all of Svatalfheim. Bollocks! You ain't doing anything out of the goodness of your art. I know what you're after. I know all about your lad Balder. I have ears, you know. Even in my grief. So... Don't pretend you're here for us, because I know- Would you have me abandon my own son, and strive only for your salvation? Okay, when you say it like that... I... Uh, I need time. I'm still grieving, you know? Let me think on it, alright? A little old think. Dwarves produce so much shit. You're back! Yes! Goodbye for now. These are the finest tools you'll ever lay eyes on! The finest? I forged better in my sleep. Yeah? Is that why you were snooping about in the ruins of the old workshop? Only because the Muspel stole everything I had, Dimuit. Good to see you're getting along. So, Broker, do you accept your duty? Don't have much choice, do I? 
Last thing I need is a godly smiting up me ass. <laughs> Let this be the start of a beautiful new friendship. <sighs> to study the Salakar, I'll need the very best of tools. Too bad this workshop is lacking. Bugger off! I got more stuff here than you can wag a finger at. Doubt it. <gasps> <gasps> if you find something you don't know how to use, just ask. <laughs> I'll be giving you lessons on how to use your Bickering own... Bickering dwarves. How unusual. Asa, you return. What? You deal with a fire nymph? Not this again. What news do you bring? My stepmother is stubborn. I cannot push too hard, or she will grow suspicious. She has no interest in a trade. Interest, yes. But not yet the will. I don't understand. The Salakar is all but indestructible. You, on the other hand, are not. She assumes she'll catch me, kill me, and retrieve the Salakar. Time is on her side. Then I must strip her of this illusion. If I were to make a nuisance of myself... One that cannot be ignored. Sinmara prepares to lead my father's next major invasion. But if I were to disrupt her plans, it may force her to the bargaining table. Sounds risky to me. I once plotted and carried out the murder of Emir himself. What do I care of risk? Well, since you put it like that... Where must I strike? At Af Alvat Milna. My stepmother develops a strange army. At Jofrsmida, she breeds beasts of war. And finally, there's Drekathorp, her supplies hub. I'll deal with all three. In the meantime, I shall return to Etri. I will send word once my stepmother has become more... amenable. I'll return when I'm done. And I will expect answers regarding the Salakar. Let's get on with it, then. Yes. You just follow my lead. Who put you in charge? You were once your brother's apprentice. Now you are mine. Apprentice? Are you having a laugh? This is my shelter and my rules. <sighs> work and true work. We are doomed. Work! Sons turned against them. Dwarfs believe it to be cursed. I don't think they'll mind if I relieve them of this malediction.
me out here!
Guards here are vigilant. Unleash the beasts.
look soon, isn't it? Mighty pigs. Now Sinmara will negotiate Balda for the Salakar, and then together he and I will steal it back. <laughs> Hopefully, the dwarves have gained an understanding of the Salakar's true use. My future may depend on it. Ragnarok is inevitable. To avoid it, impossible. But if there's one thing I know, impossible is impossible. Sinmara's plans lie in ruins. I just hope you know what you're doing. Surely I should be asking that of you. Now, tell me, what does it do? I ain't got a clue. These light elves and they're sneaky. You've learned nothing? Whatever its use, the power it contains, it holds more than what you said. Such as? Well, for a start, there's a bloody dwarf in there. Anyone we know? Nah, and it's not important. Dwarf Hoogers don't carry much weight. Not even mine. So, what does it contain? All I know is that it's more than Malviger, Calder, and some dwarf no one cares about. Fine. In the stories, what was the actual point of the Salakars? Hoogers were what vitalized them. But it was the magic that gave them their purpose. And that magic was different to each one. Magic? You mean Seder? Nah, some elf shit no one knows anymore. Except Sutra. That fire nymph? She sent word. And? Your plan worked. Shinmara's ready to barter, if it means getting you out of the way. Where? At the bridge leading to Feigarda. Light the beacon, and she'll come out with your lad. The power that the Salakar holds. It must not fall into Surtur's grasp. Uh, I'll reclaim it once Baldur is safe. Loki cut it off. Only Loki knows. 
but Thorn was less than pleased. Loki wisely chose to make amends. A new head of hair for Sif, finer than the last. And so he set off for Svartalfheim. At Loki's request, Ivaldi's sons made for him tresses of the purest gold, which would fix the Sif's scalp and grow as real hair would. Loki had what he needed, but now that he'd seen what the Mastersmiths of Svartalfheim could do, he wanted more. One said. I... Is everything all right? Uh, I wish I knew, High One. You recognize me? Of course, but I have no quarrel with you. Even if I did, I have more pressing matters. I... I must get into the dwarf shelter. You have a death wish? No! But if that's what it takes to be reunited with my love, it is a risk I must bear. They hold a Jotun captive? No. The one I love is... a dwarf. Svas. And as strange as it might sound, I think he loves me. With everything happening in this crazed world, I know how important it is to hold on to things that are precious. Do you think you could help me? All I want is to speak to him, to know I'm not alone in feeling what I feel. Very well. 
But I cannot take you inside looking like this. Can you shapeshift? How's this? Had to be a wolf, didn't it? Come again? Just stay by my side and don't eat anybody. I'm not an animal, you know. So, what's your plan? I don't know. And stop talking, or you'll give us both away. Do you know the way to the dwarf you seek? I have a scent. Then lead the way, but stay by my side. Be on your way! Ah, there's a good girl. We must be! Outram! <clears throat> whoa, 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 whoa! Harvey, hold it there! You cannot bring that... that thing in here! And lead us home! Be calm, friend. This is my pet. She won't harm a soul. Your pet? We have heard tens of you hunting every last wolf out of Asgard. Well, don't believe everything you hear. Now, let us pass. Where's your pet going now? I'll go see. Don't hang around here. Asker, have you lost your mind? You know what they'll do if they see you in here. I couldn't wait another moment, and I had some help. I can see. Thank you, High One. It was no bother. And I have done far more for love, believe me. So, am I mad? Or are you feeling this too? You're not mad. You're... amazing. I can't believe you'd risk your life for me. In a heartbeat. Wolves! Help! We must help them. Come, High One. Ayutun got inside! Kill it! No! She fights the wolves. She is your ally. Find a happy place. Find a happy place. Your identity secret. Twice you have now risked your life for love. The Jotun! She led the wolves to our door! The Jotnar are our enemy! Silence! Are you simpletons with minds locked by what you believe and blind to what you see? You all saw. Vasker didn't hesitate to help. She was there, in a heartbeat. Accept her, or she and I both leave. You mean it? Yes, I do. I would be a fool to let you slip through my fingers. Then my work here is done. Good luck, the pair of you. And to all of you. not safe to be out here. Not safe? Why, this town is the jewel of Svartalfin. There's nowhere safer, I assure you. No, uh, I merely seek a toy my son dropped. 
But no matter. He has more than enough at home. And I must get back. My wife will be wondering where I got to. Come. Walk with me a moment. I shall introduce you to my boy. He's always wanted to meet an Aesir. Now, I understand your concern. We too have heard the moose are coming. But I failed to see what they could want in Svartalpe. But they are already here, close by even. That is why I urge you to find shelter. <laughs> you, Asir. I have heard how you are famed for your sense of humor. Tell me, have you met Thor? We are very close, yes. My son, he loves nothing more than hearing of Thor's adventures. Perhaps you could spare us a tale, if you have time. Let's keep moving. Oh, yes, of course. Where are your people? My people? Why, all around us. Probably looking at us from their windows. But pay them no heed. It's not every day an acid. What is it? Forgive me, I... I must have forgotten your name. Keep calling you Asir. Which feels quite rude of me. I have many names. My friends call me Javi. You may too. Oh. Thank you. Javi. A fine name. Let's get you home. Hmm? Oh. Yes. Yes. Here. My home is this next one. I must ask. Mind your step. My wife only just potted the lovely plants this morning, and... Uh, and... Uh, do you... Do you see that? See what? Moose bells going into my home. No! What now? Is that it? No. Now, where... where is it? Is that it? No. Think. Think. If not here... This toy hammer... Is this... Mjolnir. Yes. My son's pride and joy. Tell me, have you met Thor? Um, as I said, we are very close, yes. My son, he loves nothing more than hearing of Thor's adventures. Perhaps, uh, perhaps you could spare us a tale. If you have time, he should, uh, he should be here. Uh, any moment now, he should... Uh, be here. My friend, you must leave this place. It is not safe, and I think you may know that, yes? Not safe? Why, this town... This town... This town is the jewel of... Uh... Forgive me, my friend. I will not be able to stay any longer. Please pass on my regards to your wife and son. You're... leaving? Oh, but I'm sure there'll only be a moment. I must, uh, get back to my own son. I'm sorry. I understand. Of course. I, I hope you find that which you need. Find? Oh, yes. Uh, I was looking for something. Uh, I'm sure it'll turn up. Good luck to you. You bring that with your sutters. 
give me what is mine. And I will hand over what is his. Come midway. Aid me, be my eyes.
many prison keys. Some of them are here, it seems. The High One brought low. Mistletoe, symbol of hope, renewal, but not for Baldur. We forced so many drafts down his gullet. His torment was quite beautiful. Blind fool, you never saw what was in front of you. Here is your child. His light gone before you even set foot here. And the rest of him? It now skulks in Helheim. Allow me to reunite you with your boy. No! <laughs> Traitor. I've seen dwarves with better stature. <laughs> Take care of it.
Asgard. But you are an imposter. Heart as black as tar. Savage. Monstrous. You've locked that truth away. Built a code to act as its jailer. But the darkness cannot be kept hidden. It oozes out like pus from a wound. Poisoning everything it touches. That is what it means to be Odin the Deceiver. Come to the flame. You pluck and scratch like an old hen. By my command.
hatch like an old hen! What is it? What did you see? All my struggles mattered nothing in the end. My son was lost before I began. His premonition come to pass. Your son? Balder! Harvey's son! You know what I mean. So Baldr met his fate, as was foretold. Ever you have sought to elude the looms of the Nornir, but we are all caught in their weave. No, I will not believe it. There's more to see yet. Why was I thrown from my dream? 
Perhaps it was not the vision that rejected you, but you who rejected the vision. Perhaps you are afraid of it. I fear nothing. I think you do. And until you recognize that fear, give in to it, embrace it, the vision will not return. Some walls cannot be overcome by potions alone. Tell me what I must do. This saga does not end here. It cannot. Meet me in the forest when darkness lays upon the land. There we shall see how fearless you truly are. These new visions of Odin trouble me. Am I alone in seeing them? Or do the tales of Svartalfheim hold some other meaning? Perhaps I should warm my bones by the fire. Gather my thoughts for a moment. Eivor! Whatever is the matter? Have you been spending too much time drinking Valka's special sauces again? I am... troubled. My visions of Odin... and of Svartalfheim... They... flood my mind without warning. Without invitation. Aha! Which is how Thor flooded Svartalfheim. Thor! Fast to act! But not so fast to think. Would stomp and thump and fight and bump everywhere he and Mjolnir should go. One day, he fought a giant in Jotunheim with such ferocity that Thor's killing blow was felt through all nine realms. The ground shook, mountains rose up, hills tore apart, creating canyons, and north of Svaladal, the massive lake that housed the springs of Yggdrasil split open, flooding all of Svartalfheim. The dwarf king, Kraithmar, acted swiftly. He built three mighty dams, preventing further damage to his realm, working alongside his beloved subjects. So surprised was one builder to see the great king working as an equal that he slept tumbling into the raging waters below. Without hesitation, Raithmar leapt, once from his horse, and again from the center of the dam's lip, diving into the frightful torrent. Before the builder could even cry for help, Raithmar was pulling him onto dry land. And so two giant statues were built to honor the king, one for each leap of unthinking bravery, and stood until the end of day. Until Ragnarok. Aye! So you see, actions ripple outward, like a stone falling into a lake. Or like Thor crushing a Jotun skull with Mjolnir. Affecting everything, whether foretold or unknown. I fear my tale has only worsened your concerns. Hmm? No, a good story is a log that feeds a mind's flame. Thank you, friend. Tova, how have you been? The fire made me think of the myths and legends Sven loved. Would you indulge me with a tale? I would be glad to hear of Svartalfheim. I would not tell it half as well, but his favorite was a fable to remind us to find meaning in our deeds and not in how others think of us. 
Svartalfheim was not short of legendary dwarven blacksmiths. Everyone has heard of Ivaldil, Brucker, and Sindri. But this tale is of a stonemason. He lived as far south as he could, where Gulnamar meets Vanke. His workshop sat upon the shoreline. Obsessed with glory, his love of masonry had all but died. He scoured the shore, seeking precious stones washed up from other realms. Then he saw it. Something beautiful, glittering, shimmering across the water. Upon an island he had never dared travel to. He hastily built the boat, working long into the night. He set sail and found many rocks that sparkled and dazzled upon the island. He cried out in joy. To craft anything from such stones, he would be remembered for all time. Then he felt a sudden sting on his foot. Then another, and another. His eyes adjusted to the dark. So consumed was he by his desire for renown, he failed to realize he had walked into a nest of snakes until it was already too late. And so, clutching the stone that sealed his fate, there he died. Remembered, yes, but only for his folly. A fine tale, Toby, and well told. This man would be proud of I will tie your hands now. What purpose will that serve? You are too much the warrior, Eivor. You will not recognize your fear until you are helpless before it. Drink. You say this will bring the vision back. Is that all? You, you mean to leave me here? Valka! This is... Why must that be tight? Coming and I, I cannot reach my weapon. Valka, 
gone for now I'm ready Valka it is time Thank <laughs> you. 
Salakar, have you lost it? Brokkur left the shelter yesterday before the raid even happened. Took the Salakar with him. Where has he taken it? Since you went away, he has become erratic. The Salakar, it, it's all that matters to him now. You should learn from his example. Now where is he? Where? The other night, he spoke of exploring the crater of Atri to seek out more answers. He takes the Salakar to Sutra's front door. Wait! Where have you been these past few days? Days? No matter. It is where I go that matters. And where is that? Atri? Wherever I can find vengeance. Calm yourself, Harvey. Collect your wits. An eye for an eye will leave us all blind. What do I care of eyes? So many dead! My friends, my brothers, all gone. So sudden, we had no time to defend ourselves. Taking his jump too far. Broker, where is my Salakar? Take it easy, it's right here, nice and safe. I wanted to investigate something, but then I tripped and... Can you walk? No. Oh, then I shall carry you. 
Oh, gentle. Ah, I hate to bleed and suck a spuds, you know. What have you learned off the Salakar? Might just know how to use it. Of course, you're going after Surtur. You'll most likely end up feasting in Valhalla. Valhalla? It is for the feeble and the blundering. No, I shall not die. Worlds may end, but I, Harvey, shall abide. What about Sindri? You calling him feeble? What would he be doing in... Ah, yes. Yes. He is there in Valhalla, of course. For one such as he, it is a great honor. Now then, this looks like a good place to put you down. So, tell me the Salakar's purpose. Mm. Having a clue? Can it kill Sutra? Well, that ain't its purpose. But yeah, I think it can. How? It harnesses the light. A lot of light. That was Balthus' gift. To turn day to night and back. Is that why Surtur stole his hooger? Yeah. The others, they're just for... balance. But, see, there is one more in there. Like Baldus. Incomplete. Whose is this hooger? Surtur's. An itsy-bitsy snippet, mind you. Uh, I don't understand. I think... I think if the Salakar touches Surtur, the two will come together. The Salakar is already complete. Nothing gets in or out. A torn Hooger will always try to reunite itself. His might just be strong enough to do it. If that happens, he will become the Salakar. Then nothing can stop him. Only if he can control all that light. But I don't think he can. His old carcass ain't made for it. It'll be like trying to hold the ocean in a single hog's bladder. This thinking, how can I be sure you're right? You ain't heard all me workings out. Do you truly believe the coming together will be too much for Sutra? Uh, best try it when he's weak. Ideally dead. Well, not dead dead, of course, just normal dead. Before he wakes up all over again. You've done well. Now give me the Salakar and leave this place. It's too dangerous. I ain't leaving. I come this far. Do as you're told, friend. I wonder. This broker sent me to my death. No, my destiny is to Ragnarok, far in the future. That's what I'm feeling. I should not be seen in this area. Be strong, I wonder. God Shabal has bitter fruits. Turn them into savage victory. Here, fool. Your twilight comes. Still drawing breath? I have a cure for that.
of all nine realms. You're not even master of the truth. This is no place for dwarfs. I've earned my right to see this through. I told you it would work. And there you are, doubting me. I, uh, I might have got it wrong. This looks like it was just a key. That, on the other hand... Have... a key. You... want the rest? Come. Claim it! You really shouldn't have come here. You! Come and claim it! Ah! I don't run from the fire! I am the fire!
stronger already. So much for your grand plan, you fool. You sought to harness the power of the light. The power of my son! It would have turned you into the wrecker of worlds. But in this feeble state, his light will devour you whole! I must return to the shelter and share the news of my triumph. my gift to you. Why the sour faces? Would you rather remain fugitives? Hurricane. So the whispers were true. You were here in Svatelfheim all alone. You have been busy, High One. Your vengeance floods the entire land like a raging river that has burst its banks. Why are you here? I too bring a gift. Dread rumors from Asgard. Rumors you would have heard had you not been so... preoccupied. What has Loki done now? Escaped the cell in which you left him to rot. Unbound Fenrir. Awoken Jormungandr. Rallied Hell. Now raising an army like no other. Clearly, he has been busy, too. Of course, Loki is not your only problem. Soon, the gates of Muspelheimer will grind open, and its minions will emerge, demanding retribution for their fallen king. And let us not forget Suttungur in your name. Do you really think he will miss this chance to settle old scores? Your vengeance comes at a price, High One, and you, and everything you hold dear, are it. So there is to be a fight. I haven't lost one yet. You have heard of the Twilight Sword? Shooter's Blade? Destined to cut the sky and signal Ragnarok. 
I stuffed it down his gullet. <laughs> As I came here, a great beam of light rose from that lone tower, tore the sky asunder. Your doing, I assume? It is you who ignites Ragnarok. So it begins. By my own hand. Hurricane. A favor, please. Have I not already done you one? Not for me. For you. Go to that tower you spoke of. Within, you will find an elven marble lying amid the ashes. Take it. Why? It offers a way to deliver the one you have lost, yet seek to save. But first, it must be emptied of those lost souls within. I already have a plan to rescue my love. There's always a better one. Now go. What is this trick? You don't care about her lost love. I care about Balder. If she can free him, even unintentionally, he may yet make it to the other side of Ragnarok. Ragnarok comes, yet I will abide, though not as I am, and not in this body. I will not forget this life. Not one breath. I will always remember when Odin, son of Bor, father of Thor, was me. How can so many starving dogs? Well played, Loki. We shall have our fight. Soon enough. Asgard has abandoned us. No, we are their dearest allies. They won't let us down. Hi. It's Kara. Isn't it? So you do remember. Why wouldn't I remember my own Valkyries? It has been many ages since Odin, son of Bor, father of Thor, took his duties seriously. Instead, he frets about the future, tries to wriggle free of fate. That's what I hear. Mind your words, girl. Whatever you say, my lord and master. Now, let's discuss your duties. This field of battle, does it bear fruit? The harvest proves underwhelming. Many have died, but without valor. <sighs> Unlike real heroes, they flaunt their wounds on their backsides, not their chests. What use will they be to me when Ragnarok finally comes? You have nothing to fear. I will make them ready for that final battle. Perhaps I can help. How? Why, let my own battle prowess serve to inspire them. You intend to tell them your old war stories? Ha! Not even we Valkyries believe in those fantasies anymore. Then draw up an arena so that I, Harvey, Lord of Asgard, patron to all true heroes, may reenact my finest moments. Just the way they happened. This should be fun, if nothing else. So be it, lofty one, your arena awaits. Remind me what I'm doing here. In this arena, you can spin your tall tales and fight your old foes, so as to help the Einherjar prepare for the great battle of Ragnarok. And, of course, for my own personal amusement. Let me tell you- Let's see what him-
I am looking forward to this. Let us hear your tale of glory. I will tell you now the tale of how I laid low the Lord of the Fire Giants and all his kin. Soon enough, I chanced upon a fearsome muspel, glowing with inner fire. Hunt well, my friend. I think you'll agree. The Skulls will sing this story through the ages. I 
anyone! Over here! Let me see what rewards I am fighting for here. Ah, the battle glory that has seen.